Well, welcome to another edition of a show you are popularizing each and every day. And you know why? We are popularizing it, it being fungus as the cause. Folks, this is the only show in the world that I know of that deals with mold, mildew, fungus, spores, etc., that mimic serious diseases. You've been to our Facebook page, right? It's relatively new for me. I go in there and check out all the comments and so forth. People are saying, man, I had asthma. I thought I was going to die. I don't have it now. I moved out of that apartment that was moldy and now I'm fine. Or I had a lump in my body and the doctor said, I think it's cancer. And I went on your diet and it disappeared. I'm not here to diagnose nor prognose your medical condition. Now comes a headline that blew all of our doors off. You probably saw it too. It came out of Daily Mail in the UK. Not that we have any mold problems in America, but other countries are publishing this. It said new figures show that fungal diseases cause hundreds of thousands of deaths annually. Yay, Daily News. Thank you, Daily Mail, for publishing that. It's about time somebody does. It says fungus destroys about a third of all the world's crops. We've been telling you this for decades. Scientists are finally catching up. And they say this is brand new news. Could fungus be the new bad guy? It's always been the bad guy. It's never been new. It was growing in mummies thousands of years ago. It's still a problem today. Our philosophy, rule out fungus first and teach your doctor well when you do. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. And welcome friends, you know me. I'm the fungus guy. I even had a Texas license plate that said the number one and then fungi, one fun guy. Every time I'd pull into a gas station, people would ask me about, are you a mushroom guy? I'm the guy who many years ago, decades ago, put together the pieces of the puzzle that said, wait a minute, drugs that work, like statin drugs, have antifungal properties. Spices and vitamin C and minerals and so forth all have antifungal activity. So let's talk today about a headline that came out just a week or two ago, and it came out of the UK, right? This is what England is doing. It should shock no one that we uh, call this mycotoxins unleashed. I mean, it's really that important that we understand these mycotoxins. What's a mycotoxin? For those of you who are novices on this show, fungi, about 600 of them we now know, of the 2 million we've discovered, about 600 are pathogenic. They make diseases happen in people. Uh, they do this by making a poison. It's a natural degradation of the fungus process. They emit a poison. It can be a gas, a liquid, a solid, but it's called a mycotoxin. Myco means fungus, toxin means poison. So here we go with this headline. I want you to see this. Of course, it would not come from the U.S. It would only come from the UK, and I want to go over this with you. Could fungus be the next big killer? Folks, it is the big killer, and it's been that way for thousands of years. Experts warn that diseases now cause more deaths, that fungal diseases now cause more deaths than malaria and tuberculosis. And look at these little uh, footnotes down below. Figures show fungal diseases cause hundreds of thousands of deaths. Okay, that's what we're going to discover today. What if, what are the two biggest killers in America? right? Heart disease, 655,000 a year. Cancer, 600,000 a year. And they keep interchanging. Oh yeah, we can get more deaths from cancer. Oh yeah, we can beat you guys with heart disease. Look, atherosclerosis, what causes it? What causes the ticker to go bad? And what causes cancer? We'll discuss that in a minute. So I believe that even their figures are underrated. Hundreds of thousands, I think millions of people die a year. Uh, from fungal diseases. Death often follows severe respiratory illness and infections of the blood. We call infections of the blood in the world of mycology, the study of fungus, uh, fungemia. Emia means blood. Fungus in the bloodstream, a doctor would say that's impossible, that could never happen. I think even high cholesterol might be due to fungemia, fungus in the bloodstream. Don't believe it? Statin drugs were antifungal drugs before they were statin drugs. Okay, uh, experts warn fungi kill more people than malaria and tuberculosis globally. So I looked that up. 
about two and a half million people globally die of malaria and tuberculosis. And they're saying fungus kills more than that right on England. You are so right with this. In America, we would never use these numbers. And finally, they also destroy a third of the food crops. But some of them that they destroy get into our food. Our grain supply in America is commonly contaminated with these fungal metabolites. Uh, so if you're eating wheat, this whole you know, gluten sensitivity thing. I think you're eating mycotoxins in the wheat, and when you go off the wheat, you feel much better. Not because of gluten, but because of the poison that's inherent to many of our cereals and breads and so forth. So that leads to a bigger question. Okay, could fungus be the next big killer? It's already there. Let's take a look at a couple of things here. I thought this was really interesting. This was reported by the Regulatory Toxicology and Pharmacology a year and a half ago. Heart disease. Heart diseases may be induced, that means caused or worsened, by mitochondrion toxic agents. The mitochondria, by the way, is the stuff inside of a cell, right? It gives you energy. Uh, the mitochondria is very, very important. What poisons that? Next sentence. Fungal mycotoxins are mitochondrion toxic agents. So heart disease, guys, is really boils down to, in many, many cases, fungus that you're eating, that you're living in a moldy home, etc. And finally this, recovery occurred when the toxic agents were removed. How many of you with a ticker that's going out of control right now couldn't sleep last night, or you've got some kind of cardiovascular disease or arterial disease, venous disease, how many of you would like in two weeks to not be bothered by that? Why wouldn't you try our program, our phase one diet? My point here is fungal mycotoxins cause heart disease. <clears throat> I received a letter from a very prominent immunologist here in the US. He sent me a carbon of it. He writes to a brand new cancer journal that's coming out. One topic of considerable interest in the new cancer journal is that of fungi and their mycotoxins whose role in cancer have been vastly underappreciated. In this regard, and as mentioned, I have been impressed with the work of Doug Kaufman and colleagues. Thank you so much, doctor, for that. Finally, before we get into the next part, and I'm gonna teach you a little more as the show goes on what we can do about this. We have all sorts of good information, testimonials, Facebook information, and so forth. Look what Thomas Pynchon said in a book called Gravity's Rainbow, written a long time ago. If they can get you asking the wrong questions, they never have to worry about the answer. Right question. Doc, why did my DNA mutate? Fungus does that. Doc, why do I have atherosclerosis? Right question. Fungus can do that. They don't know it, but now you do. Don't go away, more to come. Why is NSC Immunition MG Beta Glucan better than others? NSC Immunition Glucan is micronized to be rapidly ingested by the immune cells to promote a fast and powerful immune response. Immunition Glucan is ammunition for your immune warriors to nutritionally help win your body war. Recent major medical school studies and a U.S. patented process demonstrate for most, 10 milligrams or less is a proper dosage of high quality Immunition Glucan. That's only one Immunition Glucan Extra Strength 100 or Immunition Glucan Original 24 capsule a day. When your health or your family's health is at stake, do you want less than the best? Accept no substitutes because there are no equals to Immunition Glucan. Use only the best and the best are NSC Immunition products because in health, second best is just not good enough. Which of my books fits you? Can you cook your way to wellness? Can you eat your way to wellness? That's the name of a couple of books I've written, Cooking Your Way to Good Health or Eating Your Way to Good Health, loaded with recipes, whether you want to follow the phase one diet or the phase two diet. Please your families with good tasting foods all put together in these two great recipe books. And welcome back. Listen, Facebook. I've been playing on Facebook, and I gotta tell you, if you got a month, you can learn Facebook. All of we seniors ought to be on Facebook. There is so much fun. For example, look at Berkeley, my new best friend. He's 10 months old. I love this little boy like I haven't loved in my whole life. Uh, Berkeley, by the way, I'm on my knees so much crawling around the floor and then picking him up out of his walker and playing with him. 
that he helped me invent a little thing we'll show you at the end of the show. I call it the Berkeley board. It's just a moving board that I do some core work on out in the, out in the yard. Now, moving on, this is important. This isn't me saying this. On Facebook, you can read some of these. Read along with me quickly. I started watching your show in 2005. That's how old I am. I was very skeptical, did a lot of cross-referencing on the internet. It took me about six months before I actually bought one of your uh, books to try the diet. It was one of the best things I've ever decided to do in my life. Although I do not do the diet strictly all the time, I know the diet does work. And eating that way as a lifestyle is definitely healthier than your standard American diet. I've made permanent changes in my life now, how I eat. I often get my wife rolling her eyes because <laughs> anytime I hear people talk about ailments, I automatically turn them on to the phase one diet. Mike, thank you. Last year she tried it for the first time, now she's a believer too. Okay, that's one of them. Mike, thank you. 2005, long time ago, almost a decade ago. I've been on TV for a long time talking about this. We have another one that I really liked. I'm so thankful for your program. It saved my life and I got healed of my colitis. Be careful there, folks. Uh, if you have these diseases, always tell your doctor you want to try the antifungal approach. I want to change my diet, follow this information in the book or on our website, and I want to take probiotics and I want to take, you know, all sorts of these good things for the tummy that Doug, Doug talks about, olive leaf, oregano, uh, L-glutamine, etc. I've not been on meds for years now and take most of the products that you endorse. Thank you for all you do and continue the good you are doing for everyone that's interested in your program. And here she says something interesting. This is Hildy. I like all of the programs, even the reruns. It keeps me reminded. Folks, our reruns tend to be mini documentaries. When we're talking about something like we did as we opened today's show, a monumental report. Could fungus be killing all of us and not all these diseases? Are there a hundred kind of cancers? Or is there one? Is there a germ that can off-gas a poison that would make lumps in our body and those lumps would be diagnosed as cancer? Is it getting into our veins, our arteries, our capillaries and causing shutdown of those, constriction of those, or dilation of those in your heart's beating out of its chambers? We only talked about cancer and heart disease. We didn't talk about the other 90 autoimmune diseases, lupus, diabetes, etc. But I think you'll find a fungus link to many of them. Coming up after this break, you got to see this. You in pain following a surgery? Many of you don't have to be. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, author of The 24-Hour Pharmacist, and I only recommend Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. You see, most probiotic products contain billions of freeze-dried bacteria, but that can aggravate bloating and gas. Dr. O'Hara's provides only live, beneficial bacteria, plus their prebiotic nutrition. It supports noticeable digestive comfort. I believe in Dr. O'Hara's consistent results. It takes guts to feel great. Which of my books fits you? When it comes to diabetes, this is a very complex problem, and yet the answer medically is to treat it. Folks, wouldn't it be great if we knew the cause? I think the fungus link to diabetes will be a real eye-opener for many of you. Of course, the diets are there, the prescriptive and the natural antifungals are also taught in the fungus link to diabetes. If you have knee pain, back pain, muscle pain, or any kind of pain, Flexin is here to help. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here's what this Flexin user has to say. Well, I recommend Flexin because it has worked so well for my wife and I, and we are able to continue our work uh, pain-free as a result of taking this product faithfully. You've seen Flexin on Know the Cause with Doug Kaufman. Now's your chance to take advantage of this great offer. It's buy one, get one free, but you have to call right now. Call 1-800-N-PAIN. You had your surgery, you paid the bill, and everyone's happy except you. You're living in pain now. How many of you know someone who's in pain, who has taken every aspirin, every Tylenol known to man? They haven't tried this. Give me a couple of minutes. Watch this. This is a product we want to talk about. Those of you on it already know about it, but join us because you're going to learn something new. Those who aren't aware of this product called Flexin, it's for pain. Uh, joining us right now is Tamer El Safi, who is the president, a friend of mine for, what, five, six years. Mm -hmm. um, the president of this company, this is what he's done for 15 years. Tremendous history, tremendous story, but more importantly is what he hears on that phone every few times a week. 
they allow him from the call center to hear the testimonials. You must be hiring a kite when you hear those. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Um, I, I get so many of them uh, and we get the emails and I, I like reading them and going through them because they're very inspiring and, and, and it's just great to see all these people that have been on it for six or seven years. It just tells me that you know they're taking a product that's natural and they're not um, getting all these drug interactions with the, uh, right. and side effects with other products. So I want to talk in the next few minutes about something we call in the business post-surgical pain. Um, there are so many people who go under the knife to fix hip pain, back pain, knee pain. Maybe you're one of them. Maybe your spouse is one of them. And then resolve after that surgery, a lot of times it doesn't work and the pain continues or worsens afterwards. To wit, we hear, take this medicine the rest of your life. And you look at the side effects, just like you said, of some of these medicines. I don't want my wife, my husband, I don't want me taking that pain. One such person is a guy named Jim who started taking Flexin following, well, he was 14 years old when he got hurt. For the next 30 seconds, watch this testimonial and then we'll come back because he is a living example of post-surgical pain that he wasn't about to accept. Watch this. Yeah, I, I had, uh, I got hit by a cattle truck when I was 14, which left some, some uh, uh, degeneration in my hip. Uh, I've had, uh, my uh, left hip was replaced. Then I, uh, and uh, the doctors told me that it looked like I would have the same problem in my right hip because there looked like there was cartilage breakdown there. So I saw the advertisement for Flexin online and I said, can't hurt, I'll give it a shot. And uh, I've been pretty much pain free since. When you see things like that, you know, once again, you gotta be hiring a kite. I mean, for a physician to see that is exciting when they see wellness in their patients. But for a guy like you and me, I get reports like you do all the time for Know the Cause. People are just saying, thank God we found this. Thank God we found Flexin. That's yet altogether something else. For years, Jim will live, more than likely, without his pain. But let's talk about the people who are watching this show right now who have had surgery and are in pain. There are no fewer than 500, you can walk into a health food store, there are no fewer than 500, vitamin C is anti-inflammatory, you know, many things mm -hmm. are anti-inflammatory. Right. And God love them, many of these people have tried that to no avail. Right. You must, folks, when you have pain, find your thumbprint. I always used to tell women I worked with who are going through uh, hormonal aberrations in their body, you know, 38 to 52 years old, you got to find your thumbprint. For some of you, ProDress cream will work. For some of you, different products will work. You got to find your thumbprint. Same with pain. You've probably found the same thing. People end up finding out about flex in third, fourth, or fifth. Yeah. Well, it's interesting when you say thumbprint because people can walk into a uh, a health food store and find vitamin C by by itself, sure. MSM bromelain, whatever. Yep. And But what I've done here is I've put this, all these ingredients and made them work synergistically together and created the special enzyme in there. So then now you're able to absorb, your body's able to absorb and assimilate all these ingredients, these wonderful ingredients in your body and acetylmerostoliate, which is really rarely ever found in any of the ingredients. The big kicker here is with the digestive enzymes. The reason why I believe and I know for a fact that y flexin works so well is because a lot of these other joint supplement companies don't put the digestive enzymes and that's very, very important because your body has, as you get older, you, you have trouble dige with digestion and you have to be able to assimilate and absorb that into your system. Yeah, I've never seen enzymes, digestive enzymes or proteolytic enzymes, I've never seen enzymes in a pain product. So this to me was unique. What I loved was the CM8. Mm -hmm. That to me, dare I say the word magic, that to me was the home run in that product because I haven't seen it in other products. Sure. But when you understand CM8 and you start cleaving on these others, wow, yeah. no wonder you've created what you've created. Well, I mean, it was out of passion, you know, for my grandmother and yep. uh, just wanted to do something that was uh, good for her and all natural. Yeah. This is all natural, folks. You've got to give it a few weeks. Let it build up in your system. Uh, and go on their website, Flexin. Flexin.com. Uh, Flexin, F-L-E-X-C-I-N with a C, yeah. dot com. Or you can order it here. Yeah, good. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Don't go away, friends. More of Know the Cause is right around the corner.
Hi, I'm Carlos Escalante. I traveled to the Patagonia regions of Chile to find the maki berry, a wild harvested fruit. Now for the first time ever, we have a patented extract 700 times stronger in antioxidant value than the leading superfruits. Research show that it's preserving eye health and supporting healthy blood glucose levels along with your immune systems. Call today to find out how you can get a free bottle of Maki Delphinol from Herbal Ultra. Let's also go back to some of the studies that show that that's really not the case. The USDA just a couple of years ago put out a great report showing that most Americans are significantly deficient in the vitamins and minerals, yet they're eating well. So there's, we're missing we're something not, there, right? Are absorbing that? Yeah, well, maybe it could be an absorption issue, I, or maybe we're just not eating the number of fruits and vegetables we're supposed to be eating, right? Yeah. So when you tell me that, I encourage that. However, there's five other facts that I want to cover with you all. Number one, okay, this goes way back to 1920. Yeah, soil surveys. Oh, the first yeah. United States government uh, soil surveys, 1920, said that our soils were nutrient poor. 1920. 1920. So that means we've been eating since 1920 because we've done nothing to improve the soils, by the way. So since 1920, we've been eating nutrient poor food, right? Do you know what you were doing September 9th, 1999? See, I do. It's a day that will live in infamy for me. Because 9999 was the day the Mayo Clinic came out with a publication that said virtually all chronic sinusitis problems were linked to fungus, not bacteria, as they had thought the day before. And of course, doctors, I don't know if they don't heed that information, but they're still giving antibiotics for chronic fungal infections when they should, according to the Mayo Clinic, be giving antifungals. My point is this, if this problem is overlooked and they're now saying bronchitis responds favorably you know, to antifungals and asthma does, how many diseases are we suffering with and dying of, according to this paper, that are linked to fungus? Oh, the death report doesn't say fungus. Oh no, it says the tumor grew too large or the heart stopped beating on you. Fungus can cause all of this. So here's where I wanna go with you. Number one, let's identify, then let's starve, then let's kill. First, identify the problem. Know that there are two kinds of fungal growth, right? One of them is called deep fungal growth, that which can get into the liver and the pancreas and look like cancer, that which gets into the lungs and mimics cancer, that which gets into the bloodstream and we call leukemia or some other hematologic disorder. I'm not saying all of them are, but some of them are. Number two is superficial fungal growth. That's ringworm, jock itch toenail fungus. So there's two kinds of these fungal diseases. One is deep, and doctors don't know much about that, and others are superficial. We can see ringworm, we know that's a fungus. Next, do this, starve it. Folks, dietitians don't understand the importance of diet. Well, we can get your cholesterol down, your little skin will stop itching. Diet is the medicine that sets you free. The wrong diet, which 99% of Americans are on, are keeping us miserable. But that's okay, because that's keeping doctor's offices filled. But that's okay, because that's keeping operating rooms filled. But that's okay, because that's keeping hospitals filled. You know where I'm going with this. There are none so blind as those who refuse to see. And if I'm in medicine and my practice is booked for two years, I, why would I teach my patients about diet? Diet will set you free, the right diet, a purposeful diet, a reason to change your diet. These fungi, unlike other organisms, live on our sugars. They gotta have our carbohydrates. Without them, they succumb, they die. If they don't get that hot bread they lay in front of you in a, an Italian restaurant, they don't get the pasta, if they don't get you know, it, all of this grain that we're eating, corn, oatmeal, et cetera, or sugars, if they don't get that, they begin dying. They hate to die, and they'll make your life miserable. Many of us go through a die-off when we starve fungus. There's a reason for this diet. Starve the fungus. Many of you, many of you, I'd say 70, 80% of you, don't even need to look at antifungals. You need to change your diet. Follow along our guidelines. Eat the way, you've seen our recipe books, eat that way for a period of time, okay? Finally, kill. Kill the fungus. Did you know that vitamins and minerals are antifungal? 
Psyllium is antifungal. Amino acids like L-tryptophan and all the others are antifungal. Omega-3 fatty acids kill fungus. Fresh fruits and vegetables are antifungal. But look at this. Spices are antifungal. And here's zinc, garlic, and lemon oil are antifungal and they kill the mycotoxins. Boy, when you get a sore throat or your prostate's inflamed or you feel a lump bump in your body, something like that, these are the go-to products. And finally, probiotics are antifungal. What more do I need to say? So the crescendo of today's show was really all about identifying a problem. Millions of Americans are dying to fungus and our doctors don't know it. And then helping you understand deep versus superficial fungus and how to starve it and many people will also need to kill it. There are prescriptive antifungals that your doctor can give you if you require or if you ask for them. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Barb and Frank Long of Long Life Unlimited are distributors of one of the best home cleaning degreaser products in the country called Orange TKO with Delemony. Also, they feature many products in the Rafa Remedy line. Try this amazing product on your skin today. They also can serve you with 300 other products, many that are featured on Know the Cause. Ask for the Know the Cause special now by calling the number or logging on to longlifeunlimited.com. Remember, it's God-given, people approved, and doctor recommended. Which of my books fit you? Are you or a loved one suffering with allergies, arthritis, intestinal problems, or depression? In the Fungus Link One book, the diet is there, the antifungals are there, and so is the information on those disorders. What a day. Thank you for joining us. I hope you go out and tell all your friends about this. We started today with that Daily Mail article, could fungus be the next big killer? And the answer is unequivocally no, because it already is the world's biggest killer. When you consider all the diseases it mimics, all the diagnoses that are made, I think we got a problem. And I think the problem is to identify it, starve it, and kill it. So many of you watching the show with blepharospasms, eye twitches, with arthritis in the morning or stomach problems, try the diet for a few weeks. It's free. Give it a go. It's on our website. And see if in two weeks you don't feel much, much better. The important thing is then get back to your doctor and teach him or her what you learned so maybe he or she can help other patients. Do you have a grandchild? Berkeley came into my life 10 months ago and has changed my world. Here I am on a device. I'm constantly on the ground. This is one of the moving dollies. And we went out in the parking lot the other day during part of the workout, and I used that dolly because I'm always on my knees playing with Berkeley. And look at what you can do. Don't start this way if you haven't uh, exercised in a long time. Basically, this is a plank that is moving. So you got to keep your rear end up there off the ground, keep your knees off the ground. But we had a ball. This was really fun. And if you can do this even a half a minute a day, leading up to a couple of minutes, I think you two can sweat. And what happens then? I think you remediate some of these mycotoxins from your body through sweat. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.